and that you are taking part in a challenge tomorrow. Why don't you tell us a bit about it? Yes, it's actually uh, going to be based at Windsor Castle. It's quite exciting. Uh, it's on Saturday, as I say, Saturday 21st of July, and it's in Windsor Castle itself. Throughout the grounds, there'll be areas where the painters, such as myself, will set up their equipment, and uh, we will paint on floor and air, or out in the open air, as it could be called. Um, there'll be people dotted throughout. There's up to 100 participants. Within the um, on floor and air competition is also an exhibition at the end of the day. But the competition element, that is the exciting part, because not only do you win prizes, which is very common in art competitions and events, but you could also, the winner will have their artwork presented to the Queen, uh, Royal Highness, Queen Elizabeth II, and it will be then held in her personal co um, collection. So what do so, you have to do in this competition tomorrow? Well, it's all painters. There's no other media, which is other mediums such as sculpture or clay or anything like that. And from, from that, you paint an area that you've selected or is given to you within the castle grounds. I myself will be posting in and um, painting and sitting and taking in the um, beautiful moat garden. It's in the central area of the west wing of Windsor Castle. And it's, it, used, it was originally planned to have an actual moat in it, but they never filled it in. So what happened was parts of the castle got extended and built on, but this moat garden got expanded and some beautiful uh, flowers, topography. It's got beautiful layers, staggered areas. Now there are, there is accessibility at certain times of the year, but it's, it's pre-bookable. So what the area is that I will be painting is an area that is actually not accessible by the public which is the exciting part, because I get to show the public my interpretation of the actual topography, the landscape, the architecture, and the history of the place. Yeah. So uh, what's, the, what's the challenge? Is this, is this a timed event, or how, is it, how does it work? Yes, it's a timed event. Um, a lot of events um, aren't time-based, but this one is based, so the limits of the time is six and a half hours, and within the six and a half hours, each artist paints a piece of the area they're in. So the challenge is to see what your take is on the landscape. What is your style of painting? Maybe I could tell you about mine. What do you think? Of course. My, yeah. My, I, I am an abstract expressionist painter, and I like to incorporate my feelings and emotions and how I feel about the landscapes I am in. I mean, we've got a beautiful country in Great Britain, and I'm very lucky to have traveled all kinds of parts of this country. So I love to express my passion. And in the last three years, I've been exploring vibrant paints, neon paints, even spray paints to get some real expression. And when I looked at prior participants, I thought to myself, I can add a flair to my to this collection. I can give something different, and that is definitely what I embody: is a unique, different, and a bit bright. You know, how, how did you get to? Uh, how did you get to take part in this? Did you get chosen? Did you apply? We applied, so it's open to somebody like myself who actually paints all the time professionally um, but you also have people that are amateurs youngsters groups of artists because there's a lot of artist groups around the country so you apply and they um you, everyone's accepted but what it happens is at towards the end and when it's judged at five o'clock all the artworks are put in and you put in one artwork and each person's judged on the same level, which means that it's accessible to everybody, not just a professional or oh. an adult, you know. Is your, your disability going to make this any more difficult for you or because, it's all, because you've been planning in advance, then it shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem? Oh, no, I think the thing about disability is that I'm very determined, but I also have to be realistic. So I have to get physical health, which 
is something that I've had to get used to and adjust to. And so I have a, um, a designated carer for the day and the person will be able to move my the easel, not a heavy one, but a, a portable easel, and my paint. Um, so we're very lu- I'm very lucky that I have somebody that can help and also take the strain off of me, which will give me the energy and reduce my pain that I might experience if I force myself and push myself to do something my body just can't do. So, Fair yeah. Enough. And one final question for you. How are you going to do? Yeah. What do you, what do you reckon your chances are? I, I always go into everything to be my my motto is what's the worst they can that can happen they can just say no i didn't win i just go into everything with the outlook of enjoying the experience i am very proud of my work i work very hard and i've been working solidly on my landscape roots collection and uh, since t- 2006 um i may i give my web link of course you can my web link is latart.co.uk so um, that you can take you to my professional gallery that represents me, which is Degree Art Gallery in London. I've been represented by them for five years now, very professional company, and I work closely with them and I also create commissions. So from that point of view, I've got the experience. So I'm hoping that my style, my experience and my passion will push it through and come through in the work. So... I hope that I'll do well. I always aim for the as best as I can, definitely. <laughs> Have you taken part in this particular competition before? No, I haven't. This is okay. the first time I've come across it. But often with this event, which is called En Plan Air, which is out in the open, is by a company who's based in Windsor and Eton. So it's not necessarily every year in Windsor Castle. It could be in the Windsor area or the Eton area. So this year we're very lucky to be able to go into Windsor Castle. It's very, very good. It's going to be a wonderful day. I'm looking forward to it very much. Excellent.